He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Oh, well, hey, thank you for stopping in to the very first episode of Judge Jesus. I know it's been a while since you guys left me ah, hung up there, and I want you to know I don't hold any ill will. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I know what you're thinking. What's he doing back? What's he doing on public access television? Well, they say, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Since I died for years, get ready for a lot of stones. <laughs> Celebrity gossip. Brangelina. Ooh, who didn't see that one coming, right? Yeah, she wasn't a crazy bitch before you met her, and she didn't stay a crazy bitch adopting like every kid like every six months, and you didn't think she was gonna end up being a crazy bitch? That is crazy bitch stew. <laughs> And you were dumb enough to drink it from the get. And you left Jennifer Aniston. I, uh, but your kids aren't ready to see dad. Oh, they, they're not ready to be able to handle seeing a person that's raised me my entire life because what? Because their mom's a smug bitch that thinks that she gets to own them and use them against a, a leverage as her husband? Fuck you, Angelina. <laughs> NCAA is doing a fantastic job at slavery. They have managed to make millions and millions of dollars as a tax free organization, all at the expense of their student athletes. Praise unto you, NCAA, for our slavery institution of the week. Grab young fella and extra, extra, read all about it. This is from Furious in Tennessee. Dear Abby, I recently realized that my mother in law stole several of my prized possessions. It seems that my husband's brothers, who helped us move when we lost our home, took the items, obviously at her request and with her approval, instead of placing them in the storage unit as instructed. I am furious at her and my husband's brothers. How should I deal with this? I want to confront her and let her know that I am aware of her betrayal. But my husband is a great man, and I hate to hurt him in this process. When I told him I was aware that his mother had stolen from us, he said he would make it up to me and that his mother's old, she's 81, and I should let it go. However, every time I visit her home and see my things, it hurts. How should I deal with this? I feel raped. Various in Tennessee, I think you're a tad shy of the rape cry, but here's my advice. Suddenly, and without your husband's knowledge or your mother-in-law's knowledge, steal everything back, item by item so she doesn't notice, and place them secretly in your home. So when she comes to visit and notices your stuff there, she can't confront you about it because it's your stuff to begin with. And what's she going to do? And if she steals it back, then it becomes a game. You go back, steal some of her stuff, and steal a little extra this time. You know, take a pillow. You know, take something else. Make it a game. She steals something, you steal a little something extra. You just got to keep her on her toes. Eventually, she's going to die, and you're going to get most of her shit anyways. I got tons of zingers coming your way, Catholic Church, but this one's specifically reserved for the pedophiles in costumes. You guys have paid out $4 billion. Imagine all those tithings that have gone, Oh, look. Oh, here, Mary, I gave my last $10. It'll get me into heaven. Imagine what they had in the, in the collection plate as it's going by. So you can see what percentage of each dollar went to, uh, to silence child molestation. I guess you'd probably put your dollar right back in your pocket, wouldn't you? Movie judgments. Where I judge the movie without even watching it. How original. Another video game movie. Guess World of Warcraft had the critics beating down the doors for another, let me guess, Michael Fassbender going on a real emotional journey as he learns that the, the past that he had is now being manipulated by these guys in the actual future, but if he could alter it from the past, maybe he could save the future. I'm just going to pass on it all together. I guess when you buy something for $4 billion, you got to fucking keep churning out garbage. So this is another female lead, I guess, who is now going to... If I light the charge, I, I get it, you know. We did it with the Hunger Games. We did, it just, do we just have to keep churning out the same crappy movie and I gotta go pay $10 for it? What's there to sing about? Looks like you just took all the garbage directly off the radio, had it come out of an animal's mouth, and then splattered that shit onto the screen. So, this super ship is traveling through space around suns and doing all these extraordinary things, and it's going to fall apart unless two idiots figure it out and put it back together to save humanity? I, I can't. I can't. Well, you don't have robots by then. You gotta rely on the fact that two people wake up early and have to do this. I, there's nothing to watch. I bet you they wake up early. They have, uh, oh God, why? Wait, what year is it? Is, is it 
Oh, we're 90 years early. Oh, God, we're going to die before we even get to our destination. We can't go back to hypersleep. Oh, God, what's wrong with the ship? Something's wrong. And then they go on some exploratory stuff, and, oh, God, someone almost dies. And, ooh, another person almost dies, but we're just passengers on this ship. Why him? Why Franco? Has James Franco ever been funny? I think it's just the cast around him that's actually funny. Like, is Brian Cranston the reason I should go see that big pile of steaming garbage? Or, or is it the fact that James Franco just is the same character and everything? Oh, God, my leg's stuck in a rock. I gotta cut it off with a knife. Oh, Seth Rogen, hey, how are you? Oh, hi, I'm James Franco. I have the Oscars. How do I fuck with that one without sounding racist? Oh, we just gotta keep rounding out that inclusive narrative. I can't wait till we get to the, uh, the princess in a wheelchair. That one's gonna be a hoot. How's she gonna get up to prom? Are they gonna build a ramp in time? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jets, Browns, Bills, Bengals, Jags, Chargers, Bears, Panthers, Saints, Niners, Rams, Arizona. You all suck and don't even merit a second word. Dolphins versus Steelers. Yeah, both you guys suck and you're losing next round anyways. Raiders versus Texans. Sucks what happened to Derek Carr, but you both suck and you're going to lose this round or next round too. Lions versus Seahawks. Man, I fucking hate the Seahawks. Borderline the fans, but mostly just the team itself. New York versus Packers. God, Eli Manning's a choke artist. Trash, he's always been trash, always going to be trash. Got a great defense, though. I don't know if the Packers can keep up. Good luck. And the rest of the time, I'm just going to shit on the team that deserves the most shit. Tom Brady, Belichick, Patriots fans, fuck you. You guys are hands down Bostonians, the shittiest fans I've ever encountered. Shittiest people. Everyone says, no, it's great from Boston. Boston fucking blows. The people blow. Your cheating ass team wouldn't be good if you didn't have fucking sell your soul to the devil. The Jesus Christ, ass head of the week. President Obama. While everybody else was out celebrating the holidays and having a good time, you were quietly authorizing the National Defense Authorization Act, which you always do. But buried deep down in this one was the Countering Foreign Propaganda and Disinformation Act of 2016, basically creating a 1984-style Ministry of Truth, proving you to be 2017's first Jesus Christ asset of the week. Well, that's all the time we have here at Just Jesus. I'd like to kick you off with a little bit of a song of the week. Kick us off, YG. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Just enjoying one of our favorite stories, isn't that right, Mittens? No! No, no, no. no please, no, 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 no,